Hey guys, Katie, Kevin, and Diesel here. Welcome back. This weekend, we are taking the Magnitude to an RV resort. It's gonna be the first time we're hooking her up. So we are headed to Newport Dunes in Newport Beach, California. We didn't have that much of a commute because we live here locally in California. So we're gonna show you guys the, the site where we should be there. We still have daylight, so that's a plus because we're always heading out into the dark. So by the time we get to our site and everything, we'll show you guys around the site. Um, this resort is a little bit on the pricey side and I'll be sure to send you guys all the details on this resort. It's supposed to be really, really nice. We haven't been there. Um, again, we boondock most of the time. So this again, this will be the first time we're taking this RV to um, a hookup site and a whole camp area, area for RVs. So we'll definitely get you guys a tour of everything and let you guys know how the weekend goes. One more thing, when you're not towing without any weight and you do have shocks that are adjustable, adjust them before you head out because it is kind of a bumpy ride. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Okay guys, here's our campsite. We just finished setting up large sites. Pretty good size. Each site is fenced off with a green fence. You get a picnic table and it's full hookup. Guys, we are staying on the back side here with all these little cottages. So if you don't have an RV, oh look a rainbow. So if you don't have an RV, you can definitely rent out these cottages out here. So here's the cove we're approaching. So you do have the option to pick waterfront parking campsites. There it is. This is we're at Newport Dunes. There's little fire pits here if you I guess it's like a first come for serve basis. Here's some little cabanas. I know, I know. She's been finding trying to find a spot to pee guys. Here's our campsite, guys. Every site is fenced off. On the driver's side, because this is a back up in sight, so here's the hookup. Here's what we got going on here, guys. Okay guys, so we are hooked up to this Surge Protector Progressive Industries. This unit is a lifetime warranty unit, however, anything connected to it isn't covered. There is another brand, guys, that if, um, if the device fails and anything connected to it fails or something, they will cover that. So I'll put the link into that other brand. We were fine with this brand only because we don't hook up a lot guys so we're pretty much boondockers so this for i mean li lifetime warranty i would assume <laughs> it's good and i would trust that it is good if they're going to back that up but if you are full-time and and you you know you don't want anything wrong and if something happens wrong definitely look into i believe it's surge surge guard 
and they do provide a lifetime warranty plus anything connected to it so i'll put the link and i'll pull up the details for you guys on that water filter guys the unit does come with a water filter under the sink in the restroom however we put a regulator and an, an additional water filter so that it's just a little bit cleaner from what's coming out of this system here at the site here's that filter that's under the sink that i was talking about Okay guys, so here is the brand that we use for our surge protector when we're hooked up, Progressive Industries for a 50 amp power cord. So like I said, this one is lifetime warranty, however, it does not cover anything connected. So this is Progressive Industries, whereas Southwire Surge Guard, this one, Sur Southwire Surge Guard, it does lifetime warranty with connected equipment coverage. So that being if for some reason the device fails and your motorhome motherboard and you know that whole system was damaged as well, this would cover the, the equipment connected to this. So definitely look into this if you're full time. Other than that, Progressive Industries works, I mean, for us it works great because, you know, we're not full-time, so Progressive Industries works just as well. It is lunchtime and we're prepping our Country Smokers Traveler. This is a little wood pellet grill. Since we're hooked up, we figured we should bring this out for some frozen patties, something simple. We just wanted to try this out and see how it works with uh, the hookup. Okay guys, we're going to be using the convection oven today. I'm just making some cheese rolls with some Pillsbury biscuits. So this is how we're going to preheat it. You gotta hit convection. 375 and you're gonna hit start okay so it's preheating so once it's done preheating it's gonna beep okay it just beep so it's ready to go now we just have to set the timer oh you have to open it first set the time and you're gonna hit start. Or we'll okay, put, put it in. Close it and hit start. And that's how you do that. So you're gonna preheat. Once it beeps, you gotta open it up, put it in, set the timer, and then you can hit start. That's how it goes. And I think I did it wrong because it's doing seconds. So now I gotta manually do it because I didn't do 15 minutes correctly. Okay. So make sure you're punching it in 1500. Zero, zero. I just did 15 and it was 15 seconds. So we'll see it in 15 minutes. Balls, looks like we're three minutes in. Let's check on it. Not bad. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't burning and since I opened it, I just have to make sure I start the time again. And we'll see it in a bit. Okay guys, they're done. Remember, this is a hot oven. Use a towel or some baking gloves or something protective because I had Kevin almost burn his hand taking something out for me one time so bam cheese rolls not bad little toy rentals guys hey guys so there is a bike path I left the code in the camper but there it is
Diesel's going for her walk. And Kevin's just gonna get the RC car into the sand while there's nobody out right now. Here are the waterfront camping spaces. Here's a nice little jungle gym for the kids. They even raked it up this morning, guys. Look at that. hook up all our items to see how everything worked um, no issues this weekend so other than that you know thanks for tuning in guys we'll see you guys next week